What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out. On today's episode, we are going to be going over the Nike Book 1. But before we do that, do me a favor. Algorithm's been crazy lately. Um, views kind of been down. I'm um, not sure if there's just not enough engagement. Not sure what it is. Haven't been really posting a lot. Not really a lot of shoes dropping unless I'm bringing in all the Chinese models, which I'm trying to get my hands on those in the future. And as you guys know, Wade Wade once in a while will send me pairs. A couple other sites will send me pairs. So when I get them in, I will do the videos. But if you could do your boy a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. I would love to interact with you guys. But on to the Devin Booker one. Definitely going to be a light sneaker. I'm going to say 11 and a half. 12.1 so this was 12.1 this sneaker was 11.7 so that's just kind of a, a pretty like not dramatic because it's not too much you really won't even ever notice that on foot but you can kind of notice that's why i weighed both of them that this one does feel a little bit heavier and i'm not sure why thought maybe i still had one of the like the dj khaled freaking pill smell things that came in the dj khaled kit but i definitely don't so that's kind of odd but getting right into it you guys can see the padding on this this whole this sneaker is a whole was like crazy crazy comfortable i could not believe how comfortable this sneaker was heel lockdown was great no issues no heel slippage the padding back here felt really really good feels like a memory foam and the material right here is kind of it's just super soft feels great on foot so when it comes down to heel lockdown and heel comfort the book is definitely top notch they did a great job I, i'm gonna mention the heel tab because it's kind of unique it's got like it's supposed to be like the pages in a book apparently and yeah i just thought that it's worth mentioning because i think that's pretty unique uh and, and it's a little bit oversized so it's nice and easy you don't gotta stick your finger in to pull it up you can just grab it and slide it right on it really wasn't hard to get the sneaker on foot now working our way to the laces laces are actually heavy duty laces they're they almost feel like uh, like a heavy duty rope of some kind it definitely feels good they're definitely going to last they will fray a little bit they already have kind of started just the material that they use but they're definitely going to last a very long time now down under the tongue the tongue was not breathable at all um which was kind of upsetting probably one of my only bad things about the d-book one uh you guys can see the material they used very very soft on foot tons of padding almost has that like skateboard sb type tongue vibe on it definitely got a lot of padding it feels great on foot conforms great to foot and it's just it's it's just one piece it's not like a uh, half booty upper it's just the tongue is disconnected from the sneaker and then it connects down here obviously but yeah i like the tongue for the most part on the d-book one i just didn't like that it wasn't breathable moving on down the materials of the d-book one um it has like a suede or, or like a new buck synthetic new buck on it it feels similar if you guys have the jordan 5 Oregon like PE colorway not the PE but the one that was like the general release if you have that that's kind of exactly what it feels like it actually almost feels better than that so while it's not a suede it's a nice new buck feels great has a quilted material back here to help with the support I like how they use that same material on the front in the Nike check I think that's a dope little aesthetic that they use that looks dope up at the collar area right here it's a little bit more high quality new buck you could feel it it's a lot thicker I wish they would have perforated the whole sneaker kind of like this because breathability in this my shoe or my foot definitely got hot in the D book ones and that's my only gripe like I said the tongue not very breathable they got this these ported down here but at the end of the day that's not going to let out a crazy amount of heat so if your foot is a scorcher probably not going to enjoy the D book ones but if you can stand it and you don't really care about your shoe getting or your foot getting a little bit of wet from time to time you could definitely rock the D book ones you will not have any issues when it comes down to the material besides breathability now down onto cushioning cushioning was probably one of my favorite parts i love having a nice cushioning in the back of the sneaker these definitely have that um over here is kind of like a plastic you guys can almost hear that it's not like air force one hard it's a little bit softer than that i wouldn't even say it's phylon it's got to be a rubber of some some kind and then over on this side you could feel the cushion line it definitely feels great on foot there is a zoom unit right here and you can definitely feel that in this you don't have to be a big guy to get uh, the zoom unit to react it definitely feels good on foot I could feel the zoom unit right when I step in and when I'm running up and down court I felt it every time now under the front of the sneaker I think they did a great job because it has a good forefoot response you can kind of you're close to the ground you feel like intact with the ground and on the back like I said I like to have 
good impact protection on the back and not too much air on the front unless i'm using it as like a running shoe or i'm working out like getting up and down the court a lot or i know i'm going to do a lot of running that day i definitely want four foot impact um something like the nike gt jump two but this is definitely what i want when i'm hooping if i'm going on a mission and i know i'm about to hoop this is something that i want i want heel and protect impact protection on the back and i want a nice responsive forefoot and you get that with the d book one so if that's what you're looking for in a sneaker you guys will probably definitely fall in love with the d book one now down onto something that kind of threw me off a little bit was the traction i didn't think the traction was going to be that good on this translucent pair we all know about nike's translucent pairs and a lot of other companies translucent pairs um, this is super clear, not that the clearness matters, but this performed great. I don't know if they just cleaned the gym floor that I was on. It did pick up a little bit of dust, but man, this thing still performs. I was shocked when I had this. Um, for 140 bucks, like you usually don't get all good things combined into a sneaker. Usually you're like, dang, it could have did this, dang, it could have did that. Um, so at the end of the day, would uh, my recommendations, would I recommend this sneaker? Would I recommend the D-Book one? Yes, absolutely. And probably for any position. If you're a five, you're a bigger guy, it's not the most supportive sneaker on the market. Um, there's, you, you guys can see there's not really, there's some play there and there's not like a lot of support on this side right here. You do sit down a little bit lower in this. You're not right on top of it. So you do sit, sit down in the footbed a little bit. But at the end of the day, yes, I would definitely recommend the D-Book one. Um, definitely a guard shoe and I, I know a lot of people are like oh the aesthetics are dope to me i just don't like the aesthetics that's my only other problem with the d book one like when i'm throwing on a hoop sneaker i want something that looks like performance driven something along the lines of like the kobe 11s fives way away ultra serious player only sabrina's uh, the way away to all city 11s that I got behind me. That's what I envision when I'm going out to hoop. That's something that I want to rock. I wish it was a little bit lower. I do get how these could be casual, but I've never been a, a big like blazer fan. I, I've always loved Air Force Ones, but these don't really give me Air Force One vibes. It's kind of like Air Force Ones had a baby with a blazer. I know everybody's saying that, but that's what it looks like to me. It looks like he took two shoes, threw them together and said, hey, let's add some performance aspects and we're gonna go hoop in them and then we're gonna leave and go get food in them. Like that's the type of shoe Devin Booker wanted. That's the type of shoe he kind of got. I've seen people already rocking these in public. I think I've seen two people rocking the, the first colorway at the mall the other day and I was shocked. So that, that kind of threw me off, uh, but hey, your money you can do what you want with it you want to hoop in these you want to just rock them to school you want to rock them out in public rock them to a party wherever whatever you're doing the d book one has got you covered a lot of kids are driven towards this style sneaker so it was smart play on nike and booker's part um and i get it i think this is going to be a big seller you can barely get your hands on these right now so i'm going to keep these for a while i'm definitely going to play in these a lot just wish they were a little bit more breathable but other than that the nike book one is definitely a banger and you will not go wrong with spending that 140. now 140 is kind of steep at an entry level like somebody's first shoe i think zion's was cheap lucas was cheap uh pg's was six shoe was cheap um and that had react in it but hey I guess Nike's going to jump them up for the books. And hey, as long as we get in Kushlon and Zoom, you can't go wrong. But guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.